to follow breaking news tonight. A brutal attack by a disgruntled employee. Right now, police are searching for the man they say murdered his former boss with a hatchet. It all happened inside a Bellmead Fitness Studio, forcing clients to run for their lives. News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy is just outside the balance training where all of this happened. Sarah, police are warning people in that area to be alert, right? Yeah, and that's because this happened in a very busy shopping center just off Harding Pike. This man carried out that attack in broad daylight with dozens of other people around and three people who were witnesses inside that fitness center. Tonight, police say he may still have the hatchet he used in this attack with him, so they're warning the public to be vigilant. Safe, never in a million years would you think something like this would happen. That sense of security is gone and many here are struggling to understand why. It's just uh, a senseless, brutal, violent attack. Police say just before 7 o'clock Monday morning, 36-year-old Dominic Michelli walked into this gym and charged at Joel Pavlo with a hatchet. Mr. Pavlo was transported to Vanderbilt University Medical Center where he was pronounced dead on arrival. Security cameras captured Michelli in a parking garage in the moments before the attack. Apparently pacing around, maybe trying to determine what he was going to do. He allegedly chose to enter his former workplace with weapons. Armed with a hatchet and what may have been another hatchet or perhaps a large knife. Three people training inside witnessed the attack. They ran for help, but it was too late. There was a struggle. Mr. Pavela obviously tried to defend himself on this attack, but uh, Mr. Michelli uh, was very brutal. A murder likely fueled by a grudge. Reportedly, Michelli was fired by Pavela some 14 months ago. Uh, we are not aware of any recent contact between the two. Michelli was last seen leaving the crime scene in a four door older model Toyota Yaris. Police say by now he could be anywhere, leaving many here with broken hearts and a shattered sense of security. We do consider this man to be very dangerous to this community based on what's happened here this morning. Now, police are investigating where Michelli might have lived or worked recently. They're also looking into his mental health history, but we're told his victim, Joel Pavlo, was a husband and a father to five children. A friend of his has put together a GoFundMe page to help his family through this difficult time. We've put a link to that page under this story on NewsChannel5.com. Reporting in Bellmead, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5.